Day one of Rally Sweden, 6.30 a.m. Outside air temperature, minus 15. The mechanics of the BP Ford Abu Dhabi World Rally Team prepare for the first service of the day in ice cold conditions. Drivers will tackle seven snow-covered stages today and after the super special stage which opened the event on Thursday evening, Mikko Hirvinen and Jarmo Leitinen lie in third position with Yari Mati Latvala and Mika Antila in fifth. Rally Sweden is the only snow event on the season calendar and poses a huge challenge for the drivers. Snow and ice covered stages require specialist studded tyres and this is the only event in which we will see them. Team tyre expert George Black gives us a quick guide. There's uh, 384 studs in each tyre. Um, each stud's 20 millimetres long. The tread generally is very hard because it needs to be, it's not like a soft compound tyre like you have in normal conditions. After the morning's run, Miko and Yamo had moved up to second position overall after setting the fastest time on stage four, with Yari Matti and Mika now in fourth. The morning has been really good, you know, you say the sun is out, but it's very deceiving uh, with the temperatures being as low as they are, you know, minus 10 and below. But it's fantastic to see the fans out there enjoying it. And it's been, it's been a tough morning in the office for, for Miko and Yari Matti, but uh, we had a good stage in the last run and, um, you know, we're closing the gap. As you say, it is good to see how many spectators brave these conditions because they could stay at home, watch it, listen to it on the radio, but no, they want to experience rallying right here, right now, and they just pile out in their thousands. Yeah, it's, this is just unbelievable. I mean, I was coming to the service park this morning just after six, and I met hordes of fans just walking into stages at that hour of the morning. I mean, the commitment and dedication, you know, it's, it's just unbelievable. Conditions on the stages were difficult. Despite sub-zero conditions in Sweden over the past few weeks, the ice space on the stages was not as thick as the drivers would hope, and the second pass through revealed some gravel beneath, which would tear out the studs from the tyres. Despite this, Miko and Yamo confidently took the lead of the event on stage five, and at the end of day one, they led Sebastian Lowe by 6.2 seconds. It's been, uh, it's been a good day, a very difficult one. But uh, obviously, if you're leading after the first day, uh, it's, it's been okay. How much pressure are you going to be putting on the boys? Because, of course, it's two more long days to go here. It's by no means over. No, no, it's definitely not over. And, and uh, for sure, Citroën, they're, they're very fast in the morning. And for sure, like, tomorrow, they're going to push really hard. For Yari Matti, day one began steadily with a faster stage time thrown in during the afternoon. After a long day, it was good to see the support of the many fans. It's good to see there are a lot of people from Finland, obviously, and uh, some other countries. So, yeah, it, they are giving the boost, the boost for me, but I, not, not, I just need to find the right boost for myself now. Day two dawned with clear, star-filled skies. Temperatures at the service area plunged to minus 22. It's hard to imagine working in these conditions, but the mechanics persevere in the hope that their efforts will lead to a great result for the team. Keith Adlard, Miko's car controller, describes what it's like to work in minus 22. When you're laying underneath the car, because you're not actually moving that much, then you get really cold. Also, all your tools are really cold if you take your gloves off and you pick up your spanners. Your spanners stick to your hands, they can take the skin off. As Miko and Yamo lead, they will be first on the road today. With the current conditions, will it be an advantage or a disadvantage? Yesterday it looked that it didn't matter. It was actually better to run first or second on the road. The, the roads are getting so rutty and the line is so narrow than after us. It, it's easier, a little bit easier to choose your lines first patterns when you go in front. A determined drive by Miko put him fastest on the first stage of the morning's loop, but Sebastian Loeb, who sat in second place, began to start eating into Miko's lead, reducing it to just 4.2 seconds as the drivers went to the midpoint service break. Yari Matti still held fourth position overall. During the afternoon tests, Yari Matti was putting pressure on third position Danny Sordo, reducing the gap between them to just 9.4 seconds. Then Sordo dropped time on stage 15 and Yari Matti moved up to third. It was a good afternoon for Miko and Yamo also. They extended their lead over Sebastian Loeb to 16.6 seconds after an ingenious tyre plan during the afternoon.
Eco, yes. it's the lead still at the end of day two. What a great day it's been out there, you please. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. It's, uh, it's been very close with Sebastian all the time, and, and uh, we took a small risk now in the afternoon with the tires. We just thought that we, we're not going to save them, we just go flat out and they were destroyed. But we were still overall 12 seconds faster than him, so uh, it was a good choice. We saw a really determined drive from you today. Is this the new brave from Mika Hevenen? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hopefully, I can just keep it up in, in all the rallies, but let's see how it goes tomorrow. It's very still long stages to go, and for sure, Sebastian is not going to give up. Yami Massey, after a long day out there in Sweden, it's up to third position overall. You must be pleased. It's been a great day. It's been a good day. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay, the morning was not as, as good as as the afternoon, uh, I was uh, losing some time. Somehow I didn't find a good balance with the car and it was understeering and then I was losing losing time and it felt that Danny's running away. But then afternoon we changed, did changes and it just everything clicked together and then started to come really good times and we actually went, went uh, front of Sordo. Okay, he was a little bit unlucky as well, so that helped us uh, a bit. One more day remains in Sweden and it's yet another early start. But some drivers just don't want to get out of bed. We need to be 5.30 on the cars, so we need to wake up about 4.30, 4.40. I have to always, like, when you set the alarm, we have to want to do the next oh, just five minutes more. The final day. Temperatures are slightly milder, minus 10. Five stages beckoned. With just a 16.6 second lead, it was certainly not a case of Sunday driving for Miko and Yamo. I think if you looked on the two previous days' performance, then he definitely he's got it on pace. Um, and he's, he's, you know, he's obviously kept it very well together for the last couple of days. So if nothing goes wrong, but it's so easy to make that one little half spin. At the service park, the team monitored every kilometre on the timing screens. All the months of preparation that had gone into getting the team ready for the opening round were about to pay off. Miko and Yamo crossed the flying finish of the final stage in Sweden to take their first win of the season. Miko, the first time you've won the opening round of the WRC and it's your first Sweden win, how do you feel? Really good, really good. I mean, we had a really big fight again with Sebastian. So, you know, I never won the first rally of the season or rally Sweden, so uh, not bad at all. It was a pretty determined fight out there. I think we've seen a fresher, newer Miko here even in this weekend. <laughs> I hope so. That was the plan anyway, and it did, it did work out in this rally. I believe that yesterday uh, was Miko's best ever single performance. And really, he's just topped that off today with a, with a terrific victory. It's been fantastic, you know, since we came here on Wednesday. Um, it's, been, it's been hard, you know, but it's been a fantastic win. It is fantastic. A massive fight with Sebastian all weekend, like absolutely on the limit all the time. We've had the start that we need. We know we need to win on this type of event, but uh, the way that Miko did that, but not only that, the way that Yari played his role, and uh, he did a great job. Miko and Yamo take the win then, Yari Matti and Mika take a well-deserved third place. After the official FIA press conference, it was time for a bit of relaxation. All the pressure is now out, I'm really, really satisfied for the, for the result and that's why I start to feel very tired, so I just want to get to the sauna and then sleep. <laughs> the team returns to continue its quest for the manufacturer's and driver's title when the WRC heads to Mexico in a fortnight's time. It's time to leave behind the cold, snowy landscape, safely clutching the winner's trophies.